Oh, morning, little hound. What would we like for breakfast? I don't know. Surprise me. Um... Charlotte! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I meant I want to try a new breakfast sensation. OK, um, well, there's high-fibre bum flakes. I think that shock has had the same effect on me as several bowls of bran fibre. Mm. Um, well, what about these? They're called coconut crunches. They're oh, new... Oh, by the way, I'll get you! The coconuts will beat you up! Yeah! Well, I wasn't expecting that. Little oh. Howard? Little Howard? Are they gone? Are what gone? The deadly man eating coconuts. What, those? Ah, oh, won't you fool? They'll cream you, they'll ice you, they'll put a bounty on your head, they'll back you into a corner, they'll desiccate you! Enough with the coconut puns. Little Howard, I'm sure there's loads more dangerous foods in the world than coconuts. Little, little Howard? What is the most dangerous food in the world? How about a knuckle sandwich? Thousands of coconuts are waking up in prison today after being arrested for murder. A small cartoon boy is helping police with their inquiries. I love monkeys, I love monkeys. All those happy little, chirpy little monkeys with their tails and their bananas. I think that if we all were monkeys, we'd have happier manadas. In certain parts of the world, they actually eat monkey brains. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. There wouldn't be enough between you lot to cover one nacho. <laughs> oh, I found my watch. <laughs> Little Howard, why do you want to know what the most dangerous food in the world is? Because you just said there are more dangerous foods in the world than coconuts, and I don't believe you. Why are you scared of coconuts? It's a well-known scientific fact that coconuts kill more people every year than sharks do. Where'd you hear that from? I heard it from a very reliable source. Boy said down the swings. And where had he heard it from? He'd heard it from another boy by some different swings. Or was it the same swings? Anyway, he'd heard it from a girl in a Wendy house and she'd heard it from her mum who'd heard it from her hairdresser, so it must be true. Even if it is true, there's no reason to be scared of coconut cereal. Anything that's hard on the shark should not be allowed to sneak into people's houses in cereal boxes. Right, I've had enough of this. Mother! Hello, boys! Don't ask what she's doing, it never makes any sense. What are you doing? Baking! Barking more like, don't ask her what she's baking. What are you baking? I don't know. Ask the oven. OK. No! How can I help? I want to know what the most dangerous food in the world is. For some reason, he thinks it's coconuts. Oh, you should be scared of coconuts, little Howard. Thank you. You should be scared of potatoes. Exactly, you should be scared. What? And tapioca, both of which could be deadly poisonous. That's not true. Tis, tis, tis. Wild potatoes in particular and ordinary potatoes that have gone green contain a toxin that can cause Krebs diarrhoea and even worse. It is entirely removed when you cook it, but it is there. Well, then, th there's nothing to be scared of, and, and I'm sure people only think tapioca's poisonous. What? Lovely tapioca? Mm. The tapioca you buy from shops mm. is perfectly safe, but it's made from cassava root, which, before it's processed, contains the poison cyanide. Lucky it tastes like warmed up sick or someone might eat it. Oh, yes, and there's also chocolate. Oh, please don't tell me chocolate's poisonous. Don't tell me TV's bad for my eyes next. In sensible amounts, chocolate benefits the circulation and can release the feel-good chemical serotonin into the body. It does, however, contain a very small amount of a poison called theobromine, which in large amounts can make you very ill and even in small amounts can be fatal to dogs and birds. But none of those foods are as scary as coconuts. Right, 
I'm gonna cure you of this ridiculous phobia of coconuts. How? Don't just surround me with coconuts and force me to make friends with them, are you? What, like aversion therapy? No. I remember when you tried to cure a mother of her fear of water by throwing her in the sea. Yeah, who'd have thought a computer could swim, hey? No, there's someone I want you to meet. They, they should be around here somewhere. No. Hello. <laughs> ah, get them Ooh. away from me! Ah! You all right, little Howard? Oh. Sorry, I thought you were a gang of marauding coconuts trying to jump us. No, this is Kevin Palmer. He's an expert in bushcraft. Thanks for agreeing to help us, Kevin. Now, as an expert in survival, could you please tell little Howard that coconuts are our friends? Yeah, they are our friends, like anything else out here. There's friends and there's enemies, and we need to know the difference. If you follow me, I'll show you how. So, little Howard, I don't know why you're so scared of coconuts. Coconuts are so useful. You can use them for water, food, fire, shelter, all the four principles of bushcraft. If you've got those four, you're going to survive. Oh, these are pretty. What are they called? Good find, little Howard. Those ones are sulphur tufts, but I wouldn't touch them. They are poisonous and they'll make you quite sick, so yeah. I'd leave them well alone. They're called sulphur tufts because you can see they've got those bright yellow stems on them, which is the same colour as the compound sulphur. They've also got quite a nasty smell as well, and sulphur can be a bit smelly at times, so that's where they get their name. What's this, Kevin? Uh, that'll be a tree. Oh, a tree. Yeah. If I ate that whole tree, Kevin, mm. would I die? Yeah. He's very good, isn't he, Big Howard? Right, this one here, this is the classic toadstool that everyone, you know, what everyone imagines a toadstool to look like, bright red with white spots on. This is a type of fungus called fly agaric, and it is one of our poisonous <laughs> ones. It's not the most poisonous, but it certainly wouldn't do you much good if you eat it. Um, you'll be very, very sick, and then you'll start suffering from dreadful hallucinations. But that one looks like it's been eaten already by something. Yeah, so, uh, some animals, like rabbits and slugs and even deer and things, uh, for some reason the, t the poisons don't affect them. Um, and so you have to be careful. Slugs, for instance, if you eat slugs, they could have been feeding on these mushrooms and they can actually concentrate some of the poisons inside them. Lil Hal, what have I told you about eating slugs? You said not even the French do that. Some of the old shaman and witch doctors in some tribes have used this to actually to induce these dreams and these hallucinations to predict the future. But they wouldn't eat the mushroom as it is. What they would do is they'd get a reindeer to eat it and then they'd drink the reindeer's wee. What, Rudolph Weddle? Awful, isn't it? What that does is it gets rid of the stuff that makes you sick but still leaves the chemical in there that gives the hallucinations. And so they would take this and they'd, they'd have these dreams and predict the future. But I wouldn't recommend it. It is a nasty one and if you eat too much it could potentially kill you and it'll certainly make you very ill. And there's a very closely related one, which is called the death cap, and just one cap of that, it would just it would be enough to kill you outright. And it's a very slow, painful death. It's not good. So this group of mushrooms is one to be avoided at all costs. So you see, little Howard, there are a lot more dangerous and scary things out there than coconuts. In fact, I know where you can get hold of the hottest chili in the world. Did you find it deep in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, surrounded by savage coconuts? No, it's at Sea Spring Farm, deep in the darkest Dorset. Wow. Anyway, if you need me, just give me a call. What? Do a bird call or shout like Tarzan or something? No, just ring on the mobile. That's much easier. See ya. Thanks very much, Kevin. Kevin? He's gone. Where's Dorset, Big Howard? I don't know. Oh, for goodness what? sake, there's a map. Wow, he was like a ginger, wasn't he, Big Howard? A ninja. A ginger ninja. No, just a ninja. A just a ginger ninja. Get in the car. Come on. Uh...